name's Beck and I'm just one of the dental assistants here at Plaza Dental. So today I'm going to be taking you through some of our basic sterilization procedures. So this is one of two cleanup rooms at Plaza Dental and the way that our cleanup rooms are set up and I think most are as well is that you basically have the dirty to clean flow. So initially our most contaminated instruments do come into this position where they are processed through our various instruments such as our thermal disinfector or our dishwasher. They come up to our water glass trays where they're sorted and then they're into our water glass. So once they're processed in the water glass, they are sterile and ready for patient use and they're transported over to the clean side of the oil. So today we're watching Beck disassemble everything and take a dirty tray into our cleanup room. And this is the process and the steps that we follow. So first up, we always get rid of our rubbish, pop our instruments once they're looking clean, just into our thermal disinfectant trays. We always make sure that we just give our triplexes a scrub. Once we've done that, straight into the pump, it's ready to go on. So Beck, do we need to, um, any soiled instruments with blood or composite resin and any filling materials, do we need to scrub those instruments as well? You shouldn't need to with the thermal disinfector. Okay. Everything regarding composite should be removed in the surgery's chair side. Yep. And in regards to the blood and that kind of um, contaminants, it's removed in the dishwasher. Okay. Now, once we're finished, we remove our tray cover, spray our bowl, and then pop our trays up just to sit for a minimum of 10 minutes. Very good. Okay, so once we removed our instruments from the trays, they're ready for processing through our thermal disinfector. So you just make sure with the instruments that they are not too close together. You do want a little bit of separation between them just so they are able to be, I guess, properly cleaned in the dishwasher. So now that we're ready to pop that on, just slide out the lids open. Because our reflexes are hollow at the end, we do make sure we just stand those ones up on the bottom tray and then we just slide our basket in on top. Now the dishwasher itself takes about an hour for a cycle, so the whole processing of the instruments can be quite time consuming, but it is the most important part of yes, yeah. the side of dentistry and dental assisting. So this load has been processed and it's ready to go on this side of the sink for water clubbing. An important thing to note during the sterilization process is that we do need to also visually inspect our instruments as well, just to make sure that our instruments have functioned correctly and there isn't any debris that's sort of too hard for those particular things, such as the dishwasher, to remove. So following the removal from the dishwasher, um, where they're placed here, where they dry, and then we do visually inspect them at all aspects of the process, just to make sure that everything is clean and yeah, ready to be processed forever. And then once they're also out of the water bar, they just come over to here where we do inspect them again before we place them in the drawers or up in our clean trays up there just ready for the next patient. So, okay, so now that our instruments have been through the thermal disinfector, they are ready to go through the order club. So I've just lined them up again just on our trays. Again, you don't want too many instruments. You don't want them stacked on top of each other. They do need the space just so they are able to be sterilized. Now we've also got a different section over here. So this is our microfiber cloth. So some of our instruments, depending on what they're being used for, need to be what's called sterile at point of use. Well, so now that I've got my instruments laid out here, we just pump over to our order glove. Now there is a lot of different cycles, so again, it just depends on what you're trying to do. But then you just load your instruments into your order glove. When we're doing our water climbing as well, we always make sure we have an indicator in there as well, just to make sure that the sterilization has gone through. It's just another check that we do, just to ensure that everything is running as it's supposed to. Okay, so now we've loaded our instruments into the order class, we always make sure that it's empty when we start, just so that way we're not confusing dirty with clean. So we're always very diligent with that. Once we've uh, decided which instruments we're doing and what loads we're putting through, we just press start. Now, when we're doing our 
instruments as well, we always make sure that we track our loads. So we've got the digital backups that are happening directly from the oil club, but we also write down there the date, the load number, the time of the load, who put it on, what type of load it is, who turns it off, and then just that it was successful tracking the parameters.